So I'm not gonna be good at this. So you see, it's like for guys a little bit this one. Oh! Mm. So guys, so the first one we're going to make, maybe we make a collecting thing. So over here, what we can do is we're making coin collection. So let's go back to our design part. Now we're looking for coin. There's already coin over here. You can find it in the decoration if I'm not mistaken. You go for see all and then you scroll over. You will find uh, your coin like over here. You can use any other object. Maybe you are making food game. If you are making food game, then maybe you want somebody to collect something related to food, right? And you can go here. So let's say I want french fries. Now right now, the this french fries look too, 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 too small compared to our platform it doesn't make sense your design has to be proportionate to one another right so right now it's too small so again we go here and then we go to the scale we can scale it up a little bit i think five maybe okay this looks balanced so let's say i put it over here bring it up okay we have our price and change the transparency if we want to make it like i don't know why we want to make that but it's like not seeing it you can do that for that but we want it to be able to collect it so we're making it visible of course right now uh this one we are going to make coding for it so we will put on script we will put also can collide if not our avatar just going to go here if you don't adjust the starting point your avatar will always start at the center you can change that you can make your avatar appear anywhere you want by using the starting point object what you have to do is you go to the asset it's called on over here you can choose any don't choose this one though this is like a portal means that you can use it if you want to bring bring the user from one one world to another world so it's sharing link you can also just share like wikipedia link even it doesn't matter as long as it's a link so choose the flat one the flat one like this is a starting point i want my avatar to appear the player to appear over this side again it's floating we can adjust so i want to change this also to the center so it becomes zero and just to make the number look pretty over here so it become 40 <laughs> if i click on play see our player no longer appear over here but right now there's another problem the player is facing that side when it appears it doesn't it's not a big problem because they can just go here back it will be nicer if on and look right away just go back and then we have to rotate can't tell honestly what am i rotating so this one a bit hard but we just want to rotate it it should be counterclockwise i guess the to our left side right i'm guessing it is the it should be this one what is this okay it's the y one so let's try this one y minus 90 let's test it out is it true or not oh no we made a mistake it, it goes uh clockwise so means not minus 90 just 90 but we got the axis right now it goes it's rotating the same way yay nice so this one like just now we can just hide it so now you cannot see it but it's still there even though you can see it, if you look at your layer you can still see it's called start location it's still over there you go to playback appear from here let's make our first coding we want our player to collect the fries so once the player go to the fries and collected it the fries will disappear we go back to our fries make sure that uh, we already have trip toggle on and can call it as toggle on take a look at what number is our price our price is 385 that's the number so now we go to code mode go to default script the block coding is very easy if you have if you have used like uh, Scratch before or any other block coding software, honestly, it's all about the same. And over here, it's very limited compared to Scratch and other software because they're still very new. Uh, I'm not sure when they're going to add more. For now, the block coding only has the basic. So what we're going to do is once the player collected the price, then the price will disappear. So for for the player to collect the fries, the player has to go to the fries, right? Has to like, in a way, touch the fries. So what you can do is you click on the player first, the avatar, and then the function, you just type on collide, collide with fries. So once they collide with fries, what happens? The fries will disappear. 
the price will disappear that will be this one the kill function so kill function and then the price will disappear that's what we can do for block coding we can only do this for uh, block coding now we can try it out if it works or not our player just spawn from there i don't know why i'm jumping no need to jump okay so now we go here and then we touch the fries see the fries disappear so that's first coding work but we can also do something else There's a lot of different collide function if let's look back at our script so right now it's collide but we can also do if you see over here collide once means that it will only happen once in the entire game it only happens one time or collide n means that it will only happen uh when the player touch the object and then leave the object then only it happen or when it's contact it will be continuously for example like if you want something to continue doing something as long as we touching it contact so let's say if i put contact then i don't want it to be killed because it can only be killed one time correct so what we can do is maybe we made it moving i do not know whichever one this is either you can do left right up down or you can do xyz i usually do xyz because is more precise i that i can i feel like so let's say it will move 10 it will move as long as we touch the fries we go and touch the fries see it's moving or not it's moving as long as we touch it oh there's a lot wait is this like 10 i'm gonna check back my code <laughs> okay let me try one maybe 10 is that far oh okay that's how far one is that's quite far actually uh once i'm not i'm not touching it it will stop moving all right that's about it uh the function is very limited as you can see for block code we only have does this we can rotate the price also like collide then let's delete this one and then we can have the price to turn maybe turn x number so i'll make it like a big number so we can see it. so this one we touch it and then it will rotate it. so that's how far is rotating for 100 if you use uh move to go go to this one all is also to change the position to transform the position if turn you can see it's turning around but if rotate it will just rotate without the animation now let's do our game we're gonna do a simple one 